everybody. Welcome to the Bearded Model Builder. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is quickly just setting up your new space. Uh, if you're getting back into it or if you're starting out again or you're brand new to this whole process of making scale models, uh, first thing you want to do is if you're going to build something in your own home, you want to find a location in your home that doesn't have a lot of traffic, somewhere where it could be quiet for you. Um, with as little distractions as possible because once you're involved whether it be actually gluing the model together or painting you want to be able to be in your own zone basically uh, so first identify a location in your home that works best for you and it's not going to disrupt the normal function of your home um, then once you do find your location uh, one thing you do want to do is you want to establish what you want to use for a workspace, whether it's a, you go out and buy a bench or a desk, um, whether it be from Ikea, Home Depot, you know, Lowe's, whatever. Um, if they have a workbench that suits you, it's what your needs are. Uh, the other option is you get some lumber and you build to your own personal customization. I kicked this idea around for a little while when I was going to process, stop this process was whether I wanted to buy a pre-made bench or build one. Well, I had a friend of mine that actually had some leftover lumber, all brand new stuff. So what we did was we came up with a design that I wanted to make, and I made a traditional L shape where I'm sitting now. Well, I'll show you in the video later on as far as the location that I'm in. Um, and we built it to my specifications, you know, the right height. You know, my bench is about two feet wide surface area to work on and it's eight feet long and then the section that juts off to like the bottom of what the L would be is pretty much a two by four section two foot by four foot uh, so once you've established where you want to build this in your home or set up shop in your home uh, and then establish the surface you want to work on the next you want to do is you want to make sure you find a comfortable chair like you don't want to be sitting on a you know, a stool for two hours, three hours, however long you're planning on being in there. You want something that's going to be comfortable. Something so your bum doesn't get numb after you've been sitting there for a while or you have back issues. Uh, I opted for a office chair with a longer shock extension. So it brings me up a little bit higher because I'm not at like normal work height space. I've got it set up so if I want to sit down, I can sit down and work on my bench or I can stand up and work on my bench while standing. Um, so it gives me the option to either stand up or sit down and actually work. Because after a while, sitting down, it does get kind of tiring. Uh, then once you find the chair, then you start piecing together however you want to set your lighting up. Uh, I know when I used to do this years ago, which was like 15, 20 plus years ago, lighting was usually just like fluorescent tube style lighting. Nowadays, everything's LED, which is preferably a lot better anyway so what I did was I went on uh, Amazon Amazon will become your friend because uh, you will end up buying quite a few things from Amazon or direct from locations that you know sell models and parts and um, equipment uh, or tools in this case I went with LED lightings I ended up buying a pack of five four foot long LED lights uh, and I've only actually mounted two in here because they are so bright. Two is more than enough. I mean, as you can see, the lighting coming back at my face here. Uh, so I only got one strip that's down on a lower shelf and then one that's on a higher shelf up above me. Uh, so I will show a little later on here as far as the exact layout that I have here. Um, and then after you get the lighting set up, and you know customize the space to how you want it you know make it your space in my case i made sure that i got a power strip i actually had a friend come in that's an electrician and we dropped the new plug in at the end of the eight foot bench side so i can eventually at some point in the future because you want to think for the future too you know you're not going to start out buying a compressor and then in a uh, spray booth and all that stuff right away unless you want to but you, you're going to end up working towards that. Uh, so we dropped the plug in. So now that I'm ready for future endeavors that I have the access to plug directly into an outlet on the wall. Uh, where I built my space, I already had one plug on the opposite end of the workbench. 
pretty much where I'm sitting now, uh, but it's down below. So we cut out a hole in the in the in the four foot work section, and I dropped down a plug for a power strip. So the power strip I have also has three USB ports, uh, which works out perfect because it allows me to plug in the camera. Uh, I can plug my phone in and keep it charged while I'm in here working because I actually, since I've been in here, I haven't really even started working on any models yet. I'm still trying to set the workspace up to my specifications and how I like it. Um, you know, it gives me one, two, three, four, gives me f five actual electrical outlet plugs and like I said, three USB ports. Um, the other thing that I did make sure I wanted in here was I went out and I bought a 24 inch TV, uh, smart TV, so I don't have to worry about running a cable line in here to hook the cable up. I can just right off the internet. So I can watch YouTube videos um, on different techniques that are out there now that weren't around when I was first making these models, you know, like I said, 15 to 20 years ago. And the other thing too is it allows me to, instead of using my phone to play music, um, I can play it right off the TV. I can do the Pandora. Uh, if I feel like putting a movie on, like in my case, what I, I have HBO Go on there, like I absolutely love the Band of Brothers special, uh, miniseries, anything World War II, I absolutely love watching. Uh, I could put that on and it just, that can just play in the background and, and I'm happy. I don't have to sit there attentively and watch it. Um, and the other thing is now that I've pretty much got the space set up down here, you know, I've got a. Fortunately, it's just the shower curtain behind me, just to block off the. I'm I'm in the laundry room part of the house, so I've got a door to this room, so I can close the door off. Uh, if I want the dog to come in, she can come in, or I can shut the door and nobody bothers me in here, unless someone's doing laundry. So it's one of the only times I probably won't be recording anything is when the washer and the dryer are going because it does get a little loud in here. Uh, so yes, I am in the laundry room, and I am fortunate that it actually has a sink in here already, too. A, a, a deep well, like a janitor's type sink. So if I need to wash off any brushes in the future, I'm already set. I don't have to go and use the bathroom sink or the kitchen sink. You know, we're good there. But also in this room is the hot water tank, which is behind the curtain by about 8 feet behind me. And the boiler and the back side of the fireplace is in here. So during the winter, it's going to be nice and warm in here. Uh, during the summer, I don't know what it's going to be like in here yet as far as the a AC is concerned. We do have central air. So that's the other thing. You want to make sure that the space you're going to be in um, suits your needs during the winter and in the summer. Like in the winter, I know I'm going to be absolutely fine in here. During the summer, it may get a little warm in here. But it'll be better than working in my garage, which is where I was initially going to do it. But... The summer in the garage is just brutal. I'm in the New England area, so when we get the summers, the humidity, just ridiculous. Uh, I am fortunate to have a window here that leads out to the breezeway in the house, so I can open that up during the summer or even now. I've had it open the last few days, but last day or two it's been really cold, so I haven't had it open. So at least I get some sort of a fresh breeze coming in. Um, so make this piece yours. You know, this is, this is your hobby, your peace of mind to go in and just you know after after coming home from work uh you know it gives you a chance to just kind of come in like i said i i haven't even started building any models and i've spent countless hours in here already since we finished building this um just watching youtube videos like crazy um doing stuff on my phone starting the whole process of starting the youtube channel so i'm completely new to the whole youtube channel stuff this is my first like length style video that i've been doing here so um, anybody that is watching this, I appreciate the subscribe. If you just hit the subscription at the bottom, I appreciate that. Um, I will have further content going on, but my main conversation here was a uh, part of this video was to to find the space, make it your own, make it comfortable for you. You know, don't don't worry about going out and buying all the expensive stuff and everything. You know. Worry about that after the fact. Get get yourself set up to where you're comfortable. Like, I call this my office now. This is like my office. I come in here, I turn the lights on, and I can lose myself in here for hours. Um, for me, it's better doing what I'm doing now. Because before that, I would just sit on the couch and watch TV. You know, I wanted to get back into doing this. You know, there's been a lot of advancements and, you know, techniques and, 
you know, models that are available now. So I wanted to get back into it. And I figured now's the time, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not working anymore. So it's my time now to, to do this. Um, so I'll probably run another video tomorrow and I'll show you some of the stuff that I've had from years ago. That's still really practical now. Some stuff that I used years ago that you don't see a lot of people using now anymore. And some stuff that I've picked up in the last couple of weeks trying to get myself prepared to get back into this. Um, so until then, uh, everybody have a good day. And hopefully see you in another day or two. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. This is the Bearded Model Builder, signing off.